Sidearms are definitely useful, especially in the nerf hobby, but they're not a requirement. You know, until they do this. Yeah. Mechs. There's a reason why they're the best. Whether you like them light and quick or heavy and hard, giant mechanical beasts towering over the landscape and laying siege to their opponents, in fast-paced PvP arena matches is all that Mech Arena is about. And it's completely free to play on Android or iOS right now. Jump into the action within 30 seconds and finish your match within minutes, all in tight quartered arenas of constant firefights against other teams in a variety of game modes. Choose from a wide assortment of metal monsters, with each option carrying different stats and abilities. Some are light armored and built for harassment, like Lancer and its jump jet ability, while others are lumbering merchants of leaded lasers such as Arachnid, which has so much energy it can carry any weapon setup imaginable and summon a small spider turret to cover it while it reloads. Put the right pilot in your mech to increase your defensive and offensive potential and you can truly build your own unique bot. Mech Arena is all about the fast-paced action and moment-to-moment -moment decision making that puts the spotlight on the best pilots and reflexes aren't the only way to win a fight. With constant updates, there's always a reason to hop in. This month, there's a new season pass with you unique rewards like new skins for your favorite maps, plus a bunch of Oktoberfest events with awesome rewards like the new pilot, Boar. But more importantly, now they're adding controller support, which means you can experience Mech Arena in a whole new way and put your skills truly to the test. Download Mech Arena today by scanning the QR code on screen right now or using my link down in the description of this video and new players will get bonuses worth $25. Enjoy your free Firelight skin, one Prodigy Crate, and one Plasma Cannon 4 to help start your climb up to the top of the leaderboards. And if you hurry up and add me in game using my ID code on screen right now, you can be lucky enough to be blown up by me personally. Thanks again to Mech Arena for sponsoring this video. Everything you see here was sent to me by Old Fusion's Designs themselves. They didn't compensate me for this video, so my opinions are completely my own. This is the Quick by Old Fusion's Designs. It is a 3D printed, full auto, Magin grip fed nerf dart shooter using half darts or cut down nerf darts. However, you can buy these specifically pre-made at like Walmart or Target. And is the first blaster in Old Fusion's Designs that uses the Flycore system. The Flycore is 90% of a blaster built on a platform that is completely customizable, allowing you to use angled or straight talon mags, various different speeds of N20 motor, all the way up to the 5,000 RPM motor or about 50 darts a second if you want it, whatever types of flywheels you want. And it's essentially there to be a platform for anybody to download and build their own full auto magazine fed dart spewing monster. The Quick is Old Fusion Design's own blaster using their own system. So anybody can download the Flycore and tool with it however they want. Of course, you can find the files to everything I'm talking about with the Flycore being free and the Quick actual files costing you about $10 down in the link below. There's not a whole lot to say about this platform because you've pretty much seen everything it can do right here. It's an angled talon fed blaster. However, it's compatible with both the original angled talons and the nightingale talons. Flawlessly, no changes needed whatsoever. In terms of design, it is absolutely immaculate. Starting with probably the most important thing, the grip. I have pretty small pudgy hands and this thing fits perfectly because Old Fusion Designs knows how to contour a grip and it feels amazing. And a little bit of grip tape they added right here feels awesome usually when having enough room to fit a whole magazine inside of the grip of a foam dart blaster it's a bit girthy but this one is absolutely perfect it's got a voltmeter on the back of it it's got iron sights again it's completely customizable this one is using pulsar hurricane sized wheels and a 1000 rpm pusher motor and operating is as simple as can be slap in a small xt 33s lipo like something you'd use for a nightingale and to fire the blaster you just squeeze the trigger the first half of your trigger pull will rev up your motors the second half will engage the full auto pusher. So if you just need darts down range fast, you can simply draw this thing and squeeze the trigger and you'll get what you need. But if you want to make sure that you get absolute maximum potential out of your blaster, you could squeeze the trigger a little bit to get those flywheels up to maximum speed, then pull the trigger all the way to fling darts a little bit harder. Of all the systems like this that I've used in this hobby, this one has the best trigger feel. Something about the spring tension on this trigger makes it effortless to shoot exactly how I want it to.
It is a little bit on the thicker side because it is using pulsar wheels and not those micro wheels that are typical with these kinds of blasters like that Nightingale, but you get increased performance from using wheels like that. And this thing hits comfortably just under 150. But where things get really interesting is this. This is Old Fusion Design's Micro Booper. It is a Picatinny rail mounted option that can use a variety of different foam dart shells to fire different projectiles downrange at frightening velocities. Yes, it's Picatinny compatible, so you could put it on pretty much anything, but it works perfectly with the quick because of the way the trigger is situated. The Nightingale could be modified to have a Picatinny rail there and thus be compatible with a micro booper setup. However, out of the box, it is not. And the ever lovable Pew Pew, one of the best blasters you can get your hands on, has a magazine that goes in front of your grip. Therefore, there's no way for you to use something like a micro booper with this thing. Not that you'd probably need to, but you just can't. That means when paired with the quick, the micro booper way over tunes the quick. So now you have reliable magazine in grip full auto performance in a relatively compact package that also has a secondary blaster on it that can cover a wide range of bases. This is the actual piece of hardware right here that makes this happen. It is the 40 Max shell. This is marketed as an airsoft nerf firing shell thing. It's a 40 millimeter shell that'll work with a variety of airsoft 40 millimeter launchers. And it's powered by green gas, which is just propane. Simply push the nozzle on the back of your shell for a second. And then you can screw on any of these adapters for various types of foam projectiles. So you've got a 10 dart shotgun using standard half length darts. I guess you can put five full length darts in this if you really wanted to. Two nerf mega darts in one blast. 12 nerf hyper, which may be the most terrifying one. And then of course one mega XL, which is hilarious. And using these is incredibly simple. You just put them in place. They don't fall out or anything like that. They clip in and then you just engage the bottom trigger here to fire the shell. And then you can swap it out to a different one as quick as can be. That means that this is kind of the perfect blaster. You can do just about anything you want with a blaster like this. Because the flywheels are horizontal, this thing is incredibly accurate for a flywheel blaster. It's never gonna compete with a Springer, but neither is the Springer gonna compete with this thing's rate of fire. Or if you're caught reloading or you need to shoot a different type of ammo, you have your micro booper, which means you're an incredibly hard target to take down because I can just release a mag, dump a new one in there, and I can still have this thing pointed in front of me, ready to take on any challenger that comes around the corner. And all of that in a blaster that's not very large at all. And while having like the micro booper and everything on it makes this thing practically unholsterable, I assume there will be some kind of specialty magnetic or slotted holster for this thing in the future. If this thing really wanted to, it could hit over 200 FPS because we have flywheel systems that will do that. If there's a flywheel blaster that hits X level of performance, you could put that performance in practically anything. This, uh, I don't know what that's gonna be hitting because I don't have a singled one of these and I don't think one should ever exist. But because it's shooting a lot of projectiles at once or one big, huge projectile, that's seldom gonna be a problem. Although I don't think I'd ever wanna take one of these anywhere point blank. So you have an insanely competent system that does practically everything you would want in about the smallest package possible. And that's what makes this blaster one of the best things you could possibly have with you. Yes, the Nightingale is absolutely awesome, as is the Pew Pew. These are both wonderful setups, and I assume there's going to be a way for you to put a micro booper on a Nightingale anytime soon. But this is not full auto yet. And of course, the Pew Pew is absolutely tiny, just as powerful, if not slightly more powerful. And you can tune the FPS up and down. You can change how many darts it fires. You can change the firing modes. There's a lot of things you could do with the Pew Pew that most people don't need at all. Even if you were to buy one of these pre-made by somebody in the future who may be licensed to sell them, it's not going to be nearly as expensive as the Pew Pew, and it might be slightly more expensive than a Nightingale. And while I'm a little bit worried about the Nerf Hyper one, just kind of defying the Geneva Convention here, all these other shells are fantastic, especially the hilarious 10 dart shotgun half dart shell, which is just a swarm of angry bees going like 60, 70 feet downrange. It's 
it's just amazing. As of this video, I don't think anybody is selling this package as a complete thing, but that's where you come in because if you want to spend your money, you need to let people know because there are a lot of people, because there are a lot of shops out there that could be selling this platform and, and it is definitely something that is different and worth looking into. The Quick Buy itself is an awesome blaster, but when it's combined with a micro pooper, it is practically unbeatable. And for that, I give it full marks. As long as you're allowed to use both these things at your local war, you know, until they ban it because it's too good, you will be having a ton of fun. The 40 Max shells themselves are a bit expensive. They are about $25. They were available on Amazon, but I bought literally the last one. But I bought these ones from AliExpress, a six pack for I think about 150 bucks, and they were worth every single penny. This is like the most amount of power you can have in Nerf in the smallest possible size. It really doesn't get better than this. Again, as long as it's legal at your local war. Thank you very much to Old Fish and Design for sending this out to me. I absolutely loved it. And I really hope you did too. But that's all I've got for you. I'm Walkalma7. Thank you very much for watching this video. Chances are, if you got to the end, you like what I do here. So please hit like, get subscribed, ring the bell, leave a comment, do all that algorithmic garbage to help the channel grow so you can help our hobby grow. And of course, I hope to see you in an entirely different video. You gotta